everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Talking Back with Zach. Thank you very much for joining us. Right, we're down to the wire now, folks. We've got a month left till showtime, and we've got a lot to do and a lot to talk about on this week's episode. So let's get right to it, shall we? This week, we've been focusing a lot on choreography. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. What would a fringe show about a well-armed group of zombies in the post-apocalypse have anything to do with dancing? Why is that appropriate? To which I will respond, we are a physical theater company, and dancing is the natural progression from physical theater into, you know, beyond. Also because dancing. And Michelle Obama. Who was it that said... Who was that? Can't... Meh. But we're not just talking about dance choreography. I mean, obviously we are, because you need a zombie soft shoe, am I right? But we're also talking about fight choreography. Which is a big part of Tribal Fool's work. We're going to take just a minute with our resident fight choreographer, the incredible Mike Casenza, to hear his take about what it's like to work with Tribal Fools in our unique physical theater style. So let's chat with him, shall we? What I love about working with Tribal Fools as a fight director is that it's it kind of spoils you. You you ask for somebody to do a flip and boom, somebody does a flip. You're like, let's just put a cartwheel in here because it looks cool. And it does look cool right away. Tribal Fools spoils you rotten because they can give you everything you want and more. Uh, one of the challenges definitely is uh, keeping the direction and thinking of the through line. It gives a lot of freedom to me as a fight director and also it makes me find opportunities that I wouldn't necessarily find in an established or written show. What I really love about the idea of zombies with guns is that all of a sudden zombies form a defense. It's not just blind zombies coming in mass like a herd mentality. It's the fact that all of a sudden these zombies can form a defense and there's a story there. Also this week we did our designer run, which is super fun but super intimidating. Uh, Tim Pop here will give you an idea of what designer run is. Uh, I am Tim Pop, a company member of Tribal Fools. Here for the designer run, where they show all the designers the work they've been doing so they can get a feel for what the piece is becoming. I'm not a designer, I'm just like a friend with opinions that I shall share. It's an intimidating thing putting your work up in front of your friends and the people who have signed on to the project. You want to be like, we promise, we know what we're doing, but often we don't. So you just go up there and fake it till you make it. And uh, we think it went pretty well. But we had some really wonderful friends there last night and with their vote of confidence, I think that we're gonna be okay. Thanks God. This week's cast profile features my zombie for life, Miss Tara Demi, who plays a hilarious one-armed zombie in our production. Let's just take a minute and chat with her, shall we? She's super tough. Um, definitely pushes Zack zombie around a bunch. She likes to have fun. She's cute. In her past life, I feel like was sort of um, a stay-at-home chick, let her husband do everything, and now that she's a zombie, she's like, I'm kicking ass and taking pains. I really like Shaun of the Dead. Is that my news already? I like Shaun of the Dead. I like 28 Days Later. It's not a movie, but I've recently got into The Walking Dead. The biggest challenge um, probably is the physicality. There's a lot of acrobatics in which I'm very integral. So that's a challenge, learning new stuff there. Uh, also vocal, like taking care of my voice. We only make crazy zombie noises. But my voice isn't used to. It's probably when um, Zach and I play music. Zombie band time. 
Uh, people should be see this play because it's fun, it's physical, it's hilarious. Um, it also will make you feel conflicted about guns and think if you feel one way or the other you don't care at all. You'll definitely care about something by the end of this play. And who doesn't love a good zombie apocalypse, am I right? You know what? I <laughs> like ham that goes bad or something. Because I would like really think about me and zo like fighting zombies, being ready, being on my game. But damn it, is this ham okay? It's probably okay. Yeah, no, no, it's probably all right. It's not bad yet. Death by ham. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Talking Back with Zach. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe, feel free to share, tell all your friends. And if you'd like to contribute to Tribe of Fools Indiegogo campaign, please click on this plant here. Do it. We are very close to our goal and every tiny little bit helps, so please feel free to contribute because you guys help make the show happen. And of course, be sure to tune in every week because there's going to be new material about Tribe of Fools, Zombies with Guns. We're getting close! Thank you for watching. If you call my mom on this, her cell phone right now, it literally says, Hi! I can't get to the phone right now. I must be out preparing for a zombie apocalypse.